This is WRMI, Okeechobee, Florida, Radio Miami International. You can find out more about WRMI at our website, WRMI.net. That's WRMI.net. Visit our website and share your QSL reports. This is WRMI. Radio Slovakia International. Slovakia Today. These are your news headlines for Thursday, the 20th of June, 2024. This is RSI News. Appalled reaction to MP Kodlar denying pandemic in Slovakia. World Refugee Day exhibition open in Bratislava. MPs debating amendments to the Media Services Act. Peter Kotlar, the government plenipotentiary for the reviewing the management during the COVID-19 pandemic, insists on distancing from the new World Health Organization's regulations. He said this at a meeting of the Parliamentary Health Committee on Thursday, where he stated that there was no pandemic in Slovakia. The opposition Christian Democrats call on the government to remove Kotlar from his post. The party stresses the need for a responsible and professional approach to health issues and calls on Minister Dolinkova to prevent further endangerment of Slovak patients. Government plenipotentiary thinks the rejection of the new regulations is beneficial, pointing out that Slovakia has 18 months to issue an opinion on the regulations, not a year like other countries. Jozef Zhuvada, Slovakia's representative on the WHO governing board, recommended that the Slovak Republic support the updated international health regulations. Scientists and experts who were part of the Veda Pomaha COVID-19, Science Helped COVID-19 initiative, during the pandemic are writing a petition. Scientists take note of a campaign by the cabinet office in which government officials call for respect for dissent. However, experts warn that respect for dissent cannot be confused with denial of basic, evidence-based, scientific knowledge. Questioning basic scientific knowledge by presenting it as just one of several alternative opinions, alongside delusions and targeted misinformation, is extremely dangerous for our society. They write in the petition and call on the government to nominate a qualified expert in the field of epidemiology and public health for the negotiations with the WHO. More than 190 countries of the world, except Slovakia, agreed on the international health regulations in Geneva. The UNICEF office opens a public exhibition in Bratislava to mark World Refugee Day. The photographs capture the stories of Ukrainian families who have been rebuilding their lives in Slovakia over the past two years after having to flee the war in Ukraine. World Refugee Day falls on the 20th of June. According to spokesperson of the UNICEF office in Slovakia, Michal Biznar, almost 2.3 million Ukrainians have crossed the Slovak border since the escalation of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict in February 2022. Thursday's parliamentary session started with a proposal for a fast-track legislative procedure on the government amendment to the Media Services Act. Parliament will then debate the proposal in the first reading. The draft law on Slovak television and radio, STVR, which is in its second reading, was to follow. The amendment to the Media Services Act stipulates that the Council for Media Services is to be the coordinating body for the supervision of compliance with the obligations of providers of online intermediary services, including internet search engines. The discussion on the changes in the RTVS is to be in a limited mode, lasting a maximum of 12 hours. MPs are to vote on the STVR law as soon as it is debated. Public broadcaster employees announced another strike in form of a loud protest in front of the Parliament building during the session. The 18th Zemplin Veteran Rally started in Michalosa on Thursday, running through Sunday, the 23rd of June, with cars and motorcycles passing several locations in Zemplin. Mikulas Koscho, co-organizer of the event, said that it is a rally of cars and motorcycles up to the year of production 1985, with participants from Slovakia, England, Germany, and the Czech Republic. According to the organizers, there are several interesting and valuable vintage cars. For example, a car adapted for the Beijing-Paris vintage car race. They also highlighted the participation 
of 10-time Czechoslovak champion Petr Balaš, who will exhibit vintage motorcycles. The oldest car displayed is a 1918 Ford. After the bulletin compiled from the public broadcaster RTVS news service, as well as from the public Tasra Press Agency, here comes the program presenting you the latest developments in the sphere of art and culture in this country with me, Martina Šimkovičová Greňová and South Master Eva Menilska. In the show today, Latvia, Quantum and Pohoda. Pirmā asociācija ar Slovākiju kā valsti nāk prātā, domājot īstenībā par hokeja komandā. They can be part of the community and I reckon everybody today speaks regular English, so they can be part of it and enjoy. Check our lineup and have in mind that we are actual winners of best medium sized festival in Europe. The listeners enjoy. Radio Slovakia International.